California is considered a leader in the national movement to legalize marijuana. And while it's not legal yet, some people around the Bay Area are getting together to show their support. State of Events' Kanya Goldman visited a smoker's holiday celebration in the East Bay with one of the newest supporters in Oakland. It's called iGrow, and it's only been in Oakland for about three months, and they're already welcoming in the community to celebrate the 420 Pot Smokers Holiday. Their event yesterday was filled with demonstrations, advice, and even goodies like these lollipops that boast some medicinal value. Now, the most important thing is a lot of people came out to support iGrow and to give their stance on the legalization of marijuana. Of people came out this week to celebrate the smoker friendly holiday with new Oakland neighbors iGro, the marijuana superstore. The 420 Eve event was open to the public and supported by the community. It's really been a lot of positive support, not only from local communities, but like you mentioned, also politicians. But not all politicians are in favor of places like iGro, cannabis clubs, or the legalization of marijuana in general. Oakland residents, however, voted in favor of a special tax in 2009 they hope will bring more money to the city despite the poor economy. But I think right now, considering the crisis of the economy, especially the state of California, I think it'd be a really good idea to tax marijuana because it's money for the state and for the federal government. I'm all for it. If it's legal, then you can also tax it. And considering the problems that the state has with funding, especially I work with students, and so I know how much we often need money. If we could receive some of that taxable marijuana money, I would really appreciate it. <laughs> the road to the legalization of marijuana is unknown, but getting together to celebrate 420 continues in Oakland. What I call Oakland is really the epicenter of the cannabis movement, and it has some of the most liberal policies regarding dispensaries, so it attracts a lot of cannabis tourists and inspires a lot of businesses. And it continues throughout California. A group of people were telling me yesterday that they're on their way down to L.A. to another festival to continue the celebration. Now, iGrow is not a dispensary, meaning they sell no marijuana at all, not so much as a plant. But if you do have a cannabis garden and you need some help or some stuff to get it growing, they can definitely help you out. I'm Kanya Goldman for State of Events.